Hey guys, uh, I haven't done a video in ages. Uh, I've been really slack, I've been traveling. I'm currently in America at the moment. Um, I wanted to talk about alopecia today because I've mentioned it a lot on my Facebook page, on my Instagram, even on YouTube I've mentioned it, but I haven't really talked about it before, I explained it. And I think it's something that is not really well known and people don't really talk about it, but it is something that's quite common. Uh, alopecia is basically a hair loss disease, it's autoimmune, so your body kills off hair follicles. There are different levels of alopecia, there's alopecia areata, uh, totalis and universalis. So areata is just partial hair loss. People with areata lose patches of hair, either on their head, um, they might lose part of their eyebrows, but they'll still grow hair in other places. Um, alopecia totalis is complete baldness, so you don't grow hair anywhere on your head. And alopecia universalis is the entire body is affected, so you can't grow hair anywhere. Um, I follow these two gorgeous little girls on Instagram who both have alopecia areata. They've still got little patches of hair growing on their head, and they've still got eyebrows and eyelashes. Another thing I wanted to say is that I had a couple of girlfriends, quite good ones, that turned out both had alopecia and I had no idea about it until after I shaved my head and they told me and I remember my friend taking her wig off in front of me and I was shocked I guess I had just known her as always having had hair and because the wig that she wore cost her thousands of dollars it just it looked really real and I would never have guessed that she had alopecia she looked just as stunning without the wig on and her hair, she had arietta, alopecia arietta, so she would, she had patches of hair on her head missing and the rest of the hair on her head that would grow would eventually fall out after a while. So she had to shave what little hair she had off and she would wear this wig. Just had no idea about it until, until I shaved my head and then my friends opened up to me and stories from girls started coming through which it was it's amazing to see I guess and it gives you a whole different perspective um, alopecia isn't something that affects your health or the body in any other way apart from hair loss and a lot of people don't understand that I've seen I remember somebody commenting on a photo of a girl who had alopecia saying you know why are you having children when you've got this disease which is appalling because it like I said, it doesn't affect your health in any other way. Your body can function perfectly normally. Your, it's just that your hair doesn't grow. And it's not that it's going to necessarily get passed down to your children. It's just sad seeing so many people not understanding it or not even having heard of it. And it would be awesome if it just became a little bit more accepted. I've started no noticing a lot of stars uh, shaving their head. Like Jessie J, she shaved her head um, for Red Nose Day and she donated her hair to little girls going through chemotherapy, which was awesome. She's done a new video clip, Bold. So that's great and I guess it gives also a lot more confidence to girls. I hope that explains it all a little bit more because to be honest, I didn't fully understand alopecia until I shaved my head and I started receiving stories um, and photos from girls and guys who have alopecia and I started looking into it a little bit more. Thank you all for watching again.